The first time I felt that saddle pulse under my thumb while moving a file, I stopped what I was doing, because for a moment I wasn't sure if I could imagine it. It's the kind of detail you don't expect from a mouse, and it made me realize how much physical feedback we've lost in the shift to, to digital work. The Logitech MX Master 4 lands in your hand with a kind of deliberate density. At 150 grams, it's not light, but it doesn't feel bloated either, more like something engineers stay put when you need precision. The aluminum scroll wheels have this cool machine texture that your fingertip notices immediately. The contrast of the slightly textured hard plastic that wraps most of the body. They've ditched the soft touch rubber coating from the older MX Master 3S, which used to attract oils and wear down over time, and replaced it with dense silicone on the thumb, breast, and right side grip. It doesn't pick up fingerprints the way glossy surfaces do, and after a week of use, there's no visible grime buildup. The main buttons are frosted translucent plastic, and when you press them, they respond with almost no sound, just a muted click that disappears into the ambient noise of a road. There's a faint ripple pattern molded into the silicone thumb breast, which I didn't think much of at first, until I realized it's sitting directly over the haptic motor. The whole shape tilts slightly to the right, ergonomically committed, and when it sits on a desk, it looks less like a gadget and more like a tool someone doesn't, uh, designed to be called for hours. The moment I opened the 200-page PDF and flicked the scroll wheel hard, it just kept spinning, silent, frictionless, like a flywheel, and I watched pages blur past faster than I expected. That's the max speed electromagnetic scrolling free spin mode, and it switches automatically when you build up momentum, or you can toggle it manually with the button behind the wheel. Compared to the Logitech MX Master 3S I was using before, the free scrolling feels slightly more responsive, though the core me mechanism is essentially the same. What changed for me is the haptic feedback when I dragged the timeline clip in Final Cut Pro and it snapped to a guideline, the mouse gave a tiny controlled vibration. Not aggressive, just enough to confirm the action without looking at the screen. You can adjust the intensity across four levels and I kept mine on a medium because anything higher felt like holding a phone on vibrate. The gesture button now repositioned to the top rest instead of tucked into the side gets easier to activate without shifting your grip. One thing that bothered me though is that the haptic button and gesture controls don't work unless Logi Options Plus is running in the background. If you're in a locked down work environment where installing third party software isn't allowed, have the features on this mouse just vanish. It's not a deal breaker but for most people, but it's the kind of limitation that only becomes obvious after you've committed to the product. When you scroll through the product page, you immediately see how much emphasis Logitech puts on the action ring and haptic feedback. And they're front and center, framed as the defining innovations of, of this generation. And honestly, those features do deliver, especially if you work in apps like Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, or uh, Figma, where the haptic feedback integrates with on-screen actions. But what they barely mention is the material redesign. The fact that they replaced the self-touch rubber coating with hard plastic and dense silicone, that's actually one of the most meaningful changes if you've owned an older MX Master and watched the rubber degrade into a sticky, discolored mess over time. They also highlight the 70-day battery life, which sounds impressive until you realize the MX Master 3S had the same claim with the smaller 500mAh battery. The bump to 650mAh in the MX Master 4 is likely just compensating for the power draw of the haptic motor. I always find it interesting what brands choose to spotlight and what they leave buried in the spec sheet. After the first few days, reaching for the Logitech MX Master 4 became automatic. It's the mouse I grabbed first in the morning without thinking about it. The weight, which felt heavy at first, started making more sense during long editing sessions where small, precise movements matter more than speed. The dual scroll wheels, one of the vertical and one for horizontal, saved me from constantly holding shift or dragging scroll bars, which sounds minor until you realize how much of your day involves to navigating white timelines or spreadsheets. The quiet clicks became something I appreciated more than I expected, especially during late night work when the breast of the mouse is asleep. What surprised me most was how much I relied on the haptic feedback in supported apps. Not for anything flashy, just small confirmations that I hit a stab point or crossed the boundary. It's the kind of thing you stop thinking about while using it, in a good way. You don't really notice how much it changes your setup until you switch back to a mouse without haptics and realize you're second guessing every action. The lack of an included USB-C charging cable is one of those small annoyances that only becomes obvious when the battery warning pops up and you realize you have to go hunt for one. 
It's not a deal breaker, but for $120 mouse, it feels like an odd mission. The gesture and haptic buttons requiring Logi Options Plus to run in the background is another limitation that becomes more frustrating over time. If the software crashes or you're on a computer where you can't install it, those features just disappear. And while the ergonomic shape works great for medium to large hands using a palm grip, people with smaller hands consistently mention finding it too bulky and cumbersome to get both comfortably. One of those small things that only becomes obvious after a few hours. So if you're the kind of person who spends most of your day in productivity apps, especially creative tools like Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, or Premiere Pro, the Logitech MX Master 4 is absolutely worth it. The haptic feedback and action ring shortcuts can legitimately speed up repetitive tasks. And the dual scroll wheels make navigating complex documents feel effortless. But if your workflow is mostly light browsing, spreadsheets, and emails, or if you work in a lockdown environment where you can't install third-party software, the difference may not justify the $120 price tag over something like the MX Master 3S or even a budget alternative. There is a lot of satisfaction in using something that just works the way you expect it to, without constantly reminding you it's there.